Good day, welcome to Kingdom Worms Everything. Today we're taking a look at the Asus Tinkerboard running Android. Um, my goal with the Tinkerboard was to have a nice little media center. So what I've done so far, I've gotten the Google Play and the Google services working. And this is the very latest version of it um, from like June. And I, want, I put a bunch of apps from uh, the App Store, uh, so things like NBC, ABC, Tubi TV, Cody, those kind of things are all on here. And you'll see as we'll go through some of the apps, um, most of them work. There are a few that do not work. Um, I think NBC is one that crashes and um, MeTV actually reboots the, the, the Tinkerboard. So there's something weird with those, but I think maybe the, the, the MeTV one might be because of the, uh, the screen size, doesn't know what it is. But um, for the most part, most things work. So First, let's take a look at the version of Google Play I have on here. And go into Mr. Apps and Play Store. And Mr. Play Store. And we'll go into Settings. Settings. And somewhere, here we go. Uh, Play Store version is 7.9.5.2.q-all. Zero, so 7.9.52.q. So you kind of see what version that is. And I think it's like June 8th, is, so it's the latest version uh, as of this time. And it is updating itself, it's updating apps and everything, so it is working. Um, we can take a look at a few apps so you can kind of see what I've installed. I've got YouTube, Kodi, Tubi TV, Maps, Google Maps, uh, Fox, MeTV, which crashes, Xfinity, ABC, Crunchyroll, CW, Amazon Alexa, NBC, which uh, for some reason that one fails, uh, YouTube Kids, Yapix, Microsoft Translate, Google Docs, uh, BBC News, Xbox, um, uh, some Amazon apps just for fun, the normal Google stuff, or Android stuff, Crackle, uh, Skype, and CW, so all these work. We'll just randomly pick a couple, like ABC. And she's loading, and there she is. So you can see that works fine. Uh, let's see, YouTube. YouTube works great. Um, I ran this for about eight hours, just let it stream, so it works really well. It actually makes the processor very hot. But, you know, you get the idea that it does work well. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Fox. And these are all, uh, they haven't been launched since this thing has been re rebooted, so this is live. It's not, uh, you can see the apps that are running are just the ones I launched. I think just having the 2 gig of RAM on this guy helps a lot too. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Uh, Cody, I'm sure people want to run that. I don't have any kind of uh, add-ons installed on this. It's just, uh, you know, the Kodi, so that works it's nice and fast. And we'll say exit out of there. I think we looked at ABC. Uh, let's see, something else fun. Oh, did we look at ABC? Let's launch ABC. Yeah, we launched ABC. Uh, let's find something else kind of neat. Uh, 2B TV. Uh, this is my favorite. Uh, I like it. Uh, a lot of nice older TV shows and a lot of nice uh, movies that you can find. And what's kind of cool about this, it's it's free. And they, they put like an ad at the beginning, maybe one in the middle of the movie, one at the end. So, you know, for free, you can't really beat that. Um, uh, Microsoft Translate, Docs, you kind of get the idea. A little bit of everything on here. So it works really well. Uh, like I said, there a few, a few of them don't work quite right, but for the most part they all work really well and they all stream fine. Um, so it does work well on here. Um, I'm hoping that it's only going to get better. Maybe they'll release an updated version of this uh, Marshmallow and we'll get some little better, uh, maybe a little better performance or maybe a little less crashy stuff. Because uh, I would think some of these apps should work, like MeTV, I'm thinking it's got to be just something. The Google Play installed, but I think maybe because this version of Android is on an uncertified device, you know, maybe if they get it certified, it'll be more uh, compatible. But for the most part, everything works fine. Um, I'm very happy with this guy. 
and uh, I think uh, it took a while of playing to get everything to work and get it the way I like it, but um, it seems stable, and I've run it for hours and hours and hours. So I um, highly, highly recommend this guy, uh, especially the Android version. I've tried the Tinker OS, and the Tinker OS is, uh, you know, it, it's great. It works fine, but if you want something more TV-friendly, uh, this is probably the way to go. It's more... Uh, simple to operate. You've got an operating system, you almost need a keyboard and a mouse. And I do use a little wireless keyboard for this. But this also works with the um, uh, Xbox 360 joyst joystick really well. Uh, you just kind of arrow around the, to pick what you want. And for the most part, that worked good. Um, if you got a mouse, it's even better. But, you know, the, the, I've been using a little um, a keyboard with the touchpad. And uh, that seems like that's about the best way to go, really. Um, so anyway, I've been somewhat impressed with this board so far, and it's only been out since maybe February, March, and it's only going to get better. But I uh, highly recommend it. It performs really, really well. Um, I think just having the, the faster clock speeds and the um, uh, more memory, the little bit faster graphic processor, uh, it's working really, really, really good. Uh, so hopefully uh, there'll be some more support for this guy uh, as time goes on. But... Um, you know, just for like a media streaming device, uh, you, it really, really uh, good so far. But um, actually, I kind of want to watch it and start using it. So anyway, that's all we have for today. So uh, you know, get yourself one of these guys. Uh, they're like sixty-five bucks. So you're paying a premium over a Raspberry Pi, but you are getting kind of a premium device. Uh, the only thing you're not getting is the a um, uh, lot of the Raspberry Pi distributions that are out there but um, anyway that's all I have for today so have a wonderful day